Um, Sheikh, I've got a question, um, which is on behalf of um, quite some brothers and sisters, but also a part of the Ummah. Um, but I'll try to phrase it in, 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 in a good way. Um, you know, there's, there's a country, um, an Islamic country, um, that used to be known for, um, you know, its uh, correct application of the Sharia and... Uh, Things that deal with such countries, you and I have no influence over. You know that. You should know that. Now, I know your blood boils, but put it in the fridge. What can we do? You cannot change evil and vice by protesting or by condemning publicly or by saying something that would backfire at Islam, Da'wah, and the scholars. So what is the best way of doing it? The best way is the way of our scholars because this is the only way. Throughout the decades, the Muslim Ummah have tried all different means. All backfired upon them. It all turned back against them. We can see what, what is known as the Arab Spring did to eight, ten countries, devastating the people, scattering them all over the globe. The way of the Salaf is to keep on forbidding evil and vice, enjoining enforcing righteousness and virtue through the Sharia ways. No confrontation, no public shaming, and no provocations or demonstrations or protest. Keep on teaching the people what the Prophet used to do والسلام, in Mecca for 13 years. Why do you think in the seerah we have Mecca period and Medina period? Where in Mecca, the Muslims were ordered not to defend themselves, not to fight back. 13 years. How is it possible? Why didn't Allah allow us to fight back? We had the manpower, so they thought. We had the ability, but it is the divine wisdom. If they were to fight back, they would have been annihilated and Islam would have been destroyed and erased from the surface of the earth. We have Mecca period because when the Muslims are weak and vulnerable and when they don't have the means to fight back while thinking positively that they will prevail and win, they must not do any of these things. Focus on teaching people aqeedah, their religion, getting them back to Islam, bringing up their families and their children according to Islam. Well, yes, we do resent what we see and hear. We do hate it. We condemn it. But we don't provoke people. We don't insinuate uh, uh, demonstrations and protests because this is against the Quran and the Sunnah. Our hands are tied. So we follow what Allah tells us to do, not what Tom and Dick and Harry tells us to do. We follow our Quran and Sunnah and the trusted scholars of Islam, not what our whims and desires tell us to do. And I hope this addresses your question in, in a, a good way, as your question was supposed to be posed in a good way as well. And Allah knows best.